to be honest, I'm gonna give it a little inside, I guess. Yeah. Gotta look around, make sure anybody be <laughs> looking or here. Uh, nothing. Oh, nothing? <laughs> <laughs> it just won't ring up? Yeah. Oh man, that is a way more sensational answer than I was hoping for. Hey, what's up everybody? I think this topic needs no introduction. We are talking about the Sonic bootleg slash factory rejects slash discount option of the figures. It's still a little bit of a mystery, but we have some answers today. I am interviewing a Ross employee, the one who posted this image on Reddit. I reached out to him and he very kindly accepted my offer to interview him on the very same day he posted it. There are a lot of things to go over. I'm super excited about it. We had to go try it ourselves. We went out to Ross and the employee actually let us see the little slip of paper that comes out when we try to buy a Knuckles ourselves too. So there's a little bit of information there and some what I consider to be bombshells from this interview, including reasons why this Ross employee thinks that they're bootlegs, as well as my favorite part, their method of destruction. It's actually pretty exciting. That's all coming up right now, so stay tuned. If you're not subscribed, please do. Let's go. So we headed off to Ross to test this for ourselves. We noticed these product recall posters and there wasn't a Sonic one. That actually makes sense because it says specifically on this paper that there will not be a recall poster for it. And they did happen to have a Knuckles and a Sonic, so I decided to see what would happen. Rejects, and so... Ooh, what does it say exactly? Uh, nothing. Oh, nothing? <laughs> it just won't ring up? Yeah. Okay. Oh, interesting. All right. Well, it's not ringing up, so we have confirmation of that. I get this system set up. Now, when you try to buy it, this little slip prints out on the receipt machine and tells them not to sell it. It's pretty interesting. Hacker Billy shared this image with us. He also got that slip, but they ended up selling it to him for the price of socks, which is pretty nice of them. Diamond X224 actually posted about this on Reddit, and he very kindly did an interview with me. So go follow him on YouTube as thanks. I very much appreciate it. Here we go. All right, today I have a special guest. Thank you very much, Diamond. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Diamond, and nice to see you all. It's, it's probably gonna be a first time I have my face on YouTube. <laughs> Well, that's awesome. And everybody, please go check out Diamond X244 on YouTube. That's it. To channel and also on reddit you posted a picture of the paper that says to destroy these bootlegs or factory decks or whatever they are uh why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about that well why when i just walked into work today i saw it i was actually kind of surprised because we had like a bunch of knuckles ash figures like everywhere around the um, whole toy aisle which is very jockey by the way kind of <laughs> disappointing <laughs> But we usually have like a bunch of Sonic toys in, but as soon as I saw that it was mainly Knuckles and Sonic with a surf with skateboard or surfboard, I can't tell which one was Sonic Riders or not. For a split second. But Wait, I'm sorry, there was a I Sonic was just, Riders one? I don't know if it was Sonic Riders because it had his surfboard with him. And that's the only Sonic I know that has a um surfboard, you know? Oh, either a skateboard, I couldn't tell. Oh, skateboard, yeah, that's right. The one that says Sonic on it, right? Yeah, I was kind of confused. Yeah, I've seen that one. I don't, I don't know. A lot of people know the waves of these figures, like off the top of their head. Uh, I don't necessarily know myself, but uh, yeah, I've seen the stories definitely. Well, then again, we always get like, you know, the same old stuff from Sonic, such as the um, little, the RCs of him and Jet racing on the um, mm -hmm. hoverboards and stuff, the little cars, which are kind of poorly made, but you know, they're pullback cars. Yeah. And just all Sonic related stuff, even like clocks and stuff. So, yeah, oh, Sonic clocks? Sonic. Huh. Yeah. I don't think I've seen any of the clocks in store, but I'm also not really looking yeah. for them. When I go, I'm always looking for the figures. So we have some questions from both myself and a few of our viewers that we're going to go through. The first is, uh, since we're all exposed to Sonic merch in this community, I imagine we're all biased to thinking that more people than probably is happening in reality are looking for these figures. But that being said, my conversations with Ross employees, one of them actually mentioned that I'm not the first to ask about these. So my question is, uh, have you seen a lot of people coming in looking for these Sonic figures? Surprisingly, no. I am really surprised because that's like a lot of people who actually come to my job, not scouting, but specifically looking for certain figures of different properties like Star Wars and Transformers, but never Sonic. 
Oh, really? I don't know why. Like, whenever people ask for certain things, I'm like, depending on what you're asking for, because I'm kind of a Funko collector, like, kind of. I collect the Glow the Dark ones, really, in some chases. But uh-huh. I remember people, like, asking about, like, certain properties, and like, I feel like you're a scalper. I'm going to help <laughs> you out with one, but don't try to scalp out of toys. Don't try to take the whole supply. Too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's kind absolutely. of annoying to deal with from time to time. Yeah. This question comes from YBZ. Uh, do you know about when did these... Uh, I'm just going to call them bootlegs. I, I'm not convinced they're bootlegs, but just quickness of saying it. I'm going to call them bootlegs. When did they start <laughs> coming in? When they start coming in, eh? Well, to be honest, I don't know. Probably like a week ago. It will make sense because, you know, I'm seeing them yeah, more commonly now. But, you know, not so common anymore because everybody, you know, knows bootleg and we picked up on it surprisingly. Yeah, totally. I, I think my store started getting them about a month ago because uh, I put a video out maybe three or four weeks ago where we were searching around for them and trying to find them. And if you haven't watched that video yet, go watch it after this. Uh, I've searched the upper half of my state and the next state over for the figures. All of them have Sonic, followed by Knuckles, Silver, and then Amy in that order of availability. Uh, have you been seeing all four in yours? No. No. Surprisingly, no. Just mainly either Sonic, Knuckles, and possibly Silver. Like, Silver's kind of a rare one to find because, you know, yeah. it just, it's all random, really. It's like looking to a toy box. You don't know what you pick up. Yeah. <laughs> it, it almost seems very similar to the regular distribution of Jack's products, where you find mostly Sonic and then a couple of the next one and then one that's just really hard to find. Uh, as a fan of Sonic, I imagine you may notice with more frequency when these products move through the stores. You ever get good finds for yourself? Well, yeah, I kind of do. <laughs> <laughs> for example, I got this little Metal Sonic on my desk, which I love to death. I love Metal Ooh, Sonic. Awesome. I still love Sonic, but I've been trying to look for like the Neo um, Metal Sonic because I hear this rare, apparently. Well, mm-hmm. according to TikTok, and that's TikTok. Yeah. But I haven't... You know, no Neil Sonic that well. So, yeah, seeing him looks very cool. My local Rosses mentioned they get deliveries every day except Sunday. I'm curious about how the Sonic figures arrive, how many come in the box, logos on the box, things like that. Can you speak to that? I can and I cannot because I'm usually the person that's putting the stuff on the shelves. Uh-huh. But sometimes I help my coworker take out the stuff, and sometimes they come inside the box and like Jazz specific with you know very nice, um, not handwriting, but like you know barcode army looking stuff up there. Oh like, yeah, I thought it'd be more childish, like Nerf does it. Oh gotcha, it's very corporate, like uh, shipping whatever management they use. Yeah, it's kind of fairly boring. I thought it was just really nice for it. But sometimes it's come loose, like, oh, really? really not in bad shape, but, you know, just loose enough to, like, yeah, I, I guess I'll get it. It's a consolation prize, I guess. Interesting. So what do you mean by loose? You mean, like, they're like they're without any packaging? No, no, no. They still got the packaging around them. I mean, they're just not inside the box that you think they come in. Yeah, I guess I'm saying, do you mean like the outer shipping box is not what you expect? There you go. Thank you. That's what I was trying to say. This is kind of related, but Huvalu asks, does their stock come all together? Or for each wave, do they send separate packages? It's a grab bag. It can come mixed or all together. And it's really random. Like, I wish I could tell you to do it all together and make my life much easier. <laughs> Uh, and now when you say mixed, do you mean it's mixed with other toys other than Sonic? Yep. Really? It's weird. Hey, do you happen to remember any specific types of toys that come in that package? Hmm. Let's see. Sometimes either some kid toys, like really young toddler adolescent type toys, like a little controller toy for little toddlers, like little code thing up there. So uh-huh. I'm rambling off right there about that little toy. It's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. But yeah, it just sometimes come randomly, sometimes come all by itself. It just, you know, it depends on how distribution center is feeling, I guess, because they're lazy. I know why they're lazy. <laughs> yeah, that, that was actually, again, you've anticipated another one of my questions is, do these come from a specific Ross truck? Like it's from a Ross warehouse, a distribution center. <laughs> 
Actually, not think about it. I do not know the distribution centers. I'm just the guy who's put out stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. As you mentioned that. Uh, yeah, that is really interesting to know that they're coming in boxes. Because when you order from like Entertainment Earth, they come like with the full set of the, you know, the official figures, all very nicely packed within each other. Uh, and so, yeah, that's really interesting to hear that. Maybe they're getting unpacked at a distribution center and then put together to go mm -hmm. out to stores and things. Really interesting. Shoot, they could be returns for all we know. That's true, yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course, they'd need to be able to move things like that. And they would just, you know, they want to go through all that trouble of separating. Oh, this is specifically for our Sonic returns and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's so. like, yeah. I saw about that myself, actually, because that could definitely happen. Yeah. Huh. During restocking, does the new stock stop getting put out until more of the same thing is purchased, or does it all just go out uh, on the shelves? That is a really interesting question, and the answer kind of sucks. Yeah, the same thing comes out. It doesn't matter how many times we get it. Hey. Oh, so yeah, so if you just kept getting Sonics and nobody was buying Sonics, you're just going to see more Sonics appear? Yep. It's very weird but you know well, I, i'm not distribution center i think that's preferable because if i know that that's happening then i know that they're i'm not going to feel like i'm missing out on something if i don't ask an employee to check the back because i hate having like i rarely do i only do it in the most dire of circumstances if i'm really looking for something because i imagine i would be annoyed as the employee if people ask me to go check the back so i think that's good to know mm -hmm. that you know, you're not missing out. Like everything that is on those shelves is generally on those shelves. And also that there's not something uh, valuable that you're looking for hiding somewhere in the store. Yeah, it's kind of fun for me. Like, to be honest, I'm going to give you a little insight, I guess. Oh, yeah. It just depends when you call. If you call straight up in the morning when the store opens, uh -huh. it's going to be kind of, I'm going to say it always going to be groggy because some people come early to start, you know, running around the stores and stuff. So if you call, you might be lucky enough, but it, you know, already having their basket to return back to the stock room. So, mm, you know, okay. if you call later on in the afternoon, probably like 12 o'clock y'all time, since it's like slightly early in the afternoon. Yeah, they probably have it for you. That's, you know, all Ooh. depends on the time. Okay, excellent. That's great to know. But just trying to be polite because, you know, being polite will get you a long way. Yeah, totally. That's uh. Uh, that's always my goal. Uh, give, a, give a nice smile. Don't be too overbearing. And be presentable, too. I always, <laughs> when I'm going out looking for toys, it sounds stupid, but I always do a little bit of trying to fix my hair a little bit. Wear uh, less, less grungy clothes just so I don't seem like a, a creepy 35-year-old <laughs> looking for yeah, toys. Yeah, that's going to hand you a good thing for me. That's yeah. going to be wearing the most chill things. <laughs> yeah, right. I noticed that the printout explaining to destroy the figures mentions that there will not be a recall notice on the sign near the front of the store. Have you found this to be common practice? Do you think the lack of customer facing notice means anything different than the usual recalls? No, not really. Like, we'll still want to recall them, even if you do notice. For example, the baby shark toy that had the sharp end that was on the news. Well, not the sharp end, but the hardened end. I'm going to have to look like, that up. I'll, I'll put it on the screen right now, what, what you're talking about. What, what was this? It was... Yeah, so basically on the news, we had these baby shark toys. Like, most of the stores had, like, Walmart, Target. These baby shark toys had, like, a hard point that can definitely hurt the kid. And <laughs> really? I was trying to look out. I was trying to look out for what I ain't going to lie, because I was like, ooh, recall toys. I shouldn't <laughs> have my hands on this. I should get it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> might become rare. <laughs> exactly. That's what I was looking for numbers. That. <laughs> Oh, this is a fun one. Uh, what is the Ooh. process of actually destroying these figures? Gotta look around, make sure anybody is <laughs> looking on here. So check this out. In the back, we have like this big fat Star Wars kind of destroyer. Like, I don't know if you've seen like, like Star compactor. Wars. You have the yeah, <laughs> trash <laughs> packers. Yeah. It's mainly like operated by this big red button, the turning key, like a whole nuke silo type thing. But yeah, we oh. just put them in there and just crash it up and it's gone. Oh man, that is a way more sensational answer than I was hoping for. Do you, do yeah, you, you can get your hands on one of the smashed ones? 
Oh no! It goes into like a little trash can pack outside. And oh really? Ah. Mm, I ain't digging in there. Goodbye, Sonic. <laughs> We're gonna miss your bootlegginess. It's a fact that Dan don't think it's that strong. <laughs> Wait for it. I spent for the satisfying crunch. Wow, <laughs> I, I was thinking that it, it was just going to get like uh, shipped off to a place that does it or uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I didn't know what to expect when I heard destroying, but for actual trash compactor, that's awesome to hear. Yeah, yeah it's actually kind of scary to be around. I'm just, I just want to back away from it when I'm just throwing my trash over there. Yeah. Uh, I just toss it like, eh, just, just take it. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> that's way cool, man. A lot of inventory in Ross seems like overstock of official products that simply didn't sell or sometimes uh, damaged packaging. Whether these are factory rejects, bootlegs, or just lower tier official figures for discount stores, they're obviously unique and different. Have you noticed any other things for sale that seem to have an alternate version of a of the product? And let me expand on that. Hey. Uh, like you know, you know about these bootlegs. They they got some paint on the arms. They're uh, shiny plastic, different color plastic, and things like that. That's what I mean. Is see anything like a Pokemon toy that you notice? Really notice is this quality, but then. Hey, this is the same thing that I've seen, but what's different? I think that's what I need to ask with that question. And this is why I hate skipping past those toys, because, no, I wish I noticed and looked harder, mm. but I'm pretty sure it's a paint defense, because the one, the knuckles I sent a picture of, uh -huh. uh, flash out on the screen, yeah. uh, so the mouth was looking kind of wonky, like, mm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, it was not looking on model. No. I had no knuckles. Yeah. <laughs> So the last question is just kind of an open-ended question. It's, what are your personal thoughts on the origin of these figures? Some people think they're bootlegs, some people think factory rejects. What is your personal opinion on them? Yeah, they gotta be bootlegs, man. Like, yeah. the way the printing, like, the printing on the packaging look it looks kind of faded. It ain't right. Like, I know bootlegs when I see them. <laughs> yeah. One of the more compelling reasons I think I have for them that would convince me that they're bootlegs is... Uh, is the packaging. I think there's a lot of reasons that I think they could be either factory rejects or just like cheaper for discount stores, but it's the packaging that mm. makes me lean toward bootlegs because it, it seems like they could get cost cutting with those other two options, but I don't think they would get that much cost savings with these misprinted uh, quality of colors on the packaging. So to me, that's one of the more compelling reasons that would make me lean toward bootlegs specifically is just the package. Exactly. Like if it wasn't custom packaging and some mistakes, well, that's going to happen anyways. Why are you getting made? Because painting, molding, all the other stuff, you know, you ain't going to notice until you look at the packaging because the packaging gives everything almost away. Well, thank you so much for this. I really appreciate it. Uh, everybody, please show your appreciation for this by going and checking out Diamond's YouTube channel that's diamond x224 and go and say hello there what kind of things do you do on your youtube channel well mainly my youtube channel i just like i'm playing games i love playing really and this time got a co-follower i guess like face gem you know i love oh. face gem a lot <laughs> nice <laughs> and for art wise and just drawing everything i love my own little art style it's mainly traditional but i like drawing Mm, bays, I guess, and just like whatever else I find interesting. Awesome. Yeah, maybe if you can send me some of your art, we'll have that going up on the screen right now. That'll be cool. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for doing this. I really appreciate it. We got a lot of good information. I think my favorite takeaway from this is the imagery of the trash compactor destroying these <laughs> figures. <laughs> yeah, I think this well, is going to make for great content, and I very, very much appreciate it. Yeah, no problem, man. Anytime. See you, everyone. Have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry that's for you, awesome. I just deafened with these. <laughs> Thanks, my girlfriend got it for me. That's, that's way cool.
All right. <laughs> take care. Take care, man. Take care. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about if these are bootlegs or factory rejects. If any of this changed your mind, what your position was and what your position now is. Honestly, it's the packaging that's leading me to believe that I'm going more towards the side of the bootlegs. Stay tuned for a future video on this. I've got these two to compare as well, and I've got an Amy on the way. Even though you can't buy them in stores, I did have to end up ordering it for the video, but that video is coming up as well. So if you're interested in this, please check out future videos. And I've got a lot of videos of customs, like this Black Doom that I've been building. It's articulated, it's very detailed, and it's very big. It's actually in a fabric, I have magnets on here. So the fabric is gonna be in between those magnets. I do a lot of cool things like this if you're not familiar with my channel. So please subscribe. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. See you later. <laughs> also, <laughs> Bailey's here. Yes. No, don't use that. What? What if you look really good? I don't. <laughs> Let the viewers decide. Say down in the comments if you're glad that she showed up in this video. I don't care. <laughs>